Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me right at the end of the year. Hopefully you'll stick around for 2019 hit the subscribe button so you can do just that. Yeah, I've cut my hair. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I have been growing out a pixie crop and it was like here and flicking out on my shoulders and it was not cute at all. Uh, so yeah, I'm really liking this. I hope you all enjoy my freshly cut hair. I'm having kind of a blunt bob situation. I also got new nails, so we are feeling fresh. For this video it's currently boxing day our house has like really simmered down my sister's gone on holiday my brother's gone to the gym my grandma's about to leave we're about to collect my step siblings so everyone's out everyone is out so i thought i would film what i got for christmas on boxing day as i'm pretty much alone so i didn't get too much this year because i got one main present which i will show you at the very end because it's currently Occupy. Without much further ado, let me show you what I got. In my stocking, we just get like little tiny things. I tend to get the same things as my sister. I got a little cute pencil with a nice little gem on the top and a little dangly thing. I love stationery. I love cute pens. I love cute pencils. And I'm always writing. I'm a person that like, I can type, but I'll also need to write it down. So. Also in my stocking, I got this little thing, which is really cute, which is a mini clothes pin string like thingy to put uh, pictures on or whatever you want to put on there. You could put tickets. I was kind of thinking of having a mix of tickets to things like plane tickets and theatre tickets and uh, photos, all that kind of thing. I'll try and leave things. Oh, another. That was $9.99 from Waterstones. I'll try and leave everything in the description box down below if I can, but obviously I didn't buy these, so I don't know where everything is from. I also got this little cute book, which is 101 things to do when you can't get to sleep, because I'm a bad sleeper. Me, my mum, and my sister, we're all bad sleepers, so yeah, this is 100 thing, 101, sorry, <laughs> things to do when you can't get to sleep. Let's get a little example. Oh, work through your thoughts about the day before going to bed. No, no, we can do that in the middle of the night when we start worrying about our lives. Turn over your pillow. Install a dimmer switch. Give yourself a head massage. Yes, please. Unwind for sleep with this yoga pose. Oh, legs in the air. So the price is on that as well, 5 99 mother. Then I have a little selection of money from my grandmother. And I actually already spent it before I got it, so it was sort of paying me back, because I already spent it, knew what I wanted, and I wanted this ring, which you will see on my finger. Let me take it off. I got this from a shop near me in Sirencester. It is called French Grey, and they do really cute interiors and really cute little bits of jewellery. So this one is just, I never have any rings. This is just a silver ring, and it has little elephants that you can move. Part fidget spinner heart ring. Never ever wear rings but it also goes really nicely with my um, signet ring so I thought good combination. I don't have the world's nicest hands, kind of chubby but <laughs> you know what? I wanted a ring and this one's really satisfying to play with and I really like elephants so. Then I got a selection of books. This will lead us very nicely onto my final main present. I got this one which is the little book of dog tricks which is actually quite good because you work your way through. I've already started working through it. I actually have taught kind of his name and that's it and we're working on lie down so it gives you all little sections like wave cover your eyes so you can do really cool ones but it starts off with the essentials which are like sit leave it lie down so yeah really like this one it's got little bits for you to fill in like i started this on and i completed it by so little workbook for me and the old main present and then i also got this book which is the french bulldog I'm really ruining the main present surprise. French, you will know this already if you've watched my vlog, so. French Bulldog Training. To easily train your French Bulldog. I have actually pretty much read it all. It's really easy to read, you know, when you don't have to read like every single word. So I read this pretty much all yesterday and I've kind of earmarked sections that I think will be useful for us to be working through. I'm very determined to have a really well-behaved dog that I can take everywhere that no one's even gonna really notice. He's gonna be so well-behaved and yeah come everywhere. It's hard work. <laughs> I'm up really early and constantly playing with him and constantly trying to teach him to be outside, not inside. But I'm enjoying it and I'm really looking forward to having like a really well behaved big dog. And we have French Bulldogs buying, caring for, grooming, health, training and understanding your Frenchie. Another educational book which is actually just quite interesting because I've never had this breed before so learning and what he needs to do, like cleaning his ears, cleaning his wrinkles. <laughs> Never had that before, we've always had black Labradors, so. So that leads us very nicely on to a present that my sister got me. In fact, 
spoiler, we all know I've got a dog. We all know I've got a French Bulldog by now. And he's currently asleep over there, literally there, and being very well behaved. So I'm gonna show him at the end so I can show you the next present. My sister bought me some socks, some super socks, socks made for you, and you can put your own picture on them. So I opened these, I was like, oh my God, it's a French Bulldog on socks. That's so cute. And I was like, oh my God, it looks like Buster. It is Buster. This is a picture that I took. <laughs> this, is, this is when his ears were trying to come up and one's flopping down. She printed them onto socks. So now I can wear him even when I don't have him. That's really cute. Love that one. I think she got another pair of socks for her boyfriend with her face on them. So do as you wish. Put whatever picture you want to put onto your socks. So I thought that was a really good present. That was really fun. This was also a um, stocking filler. This is Rose Prosecco Bath Salts. Add a spoonful to a bath to soften and scent the water. I've actually never put bath salts in my bath. I'm not very big. They smell so good though. I'm not a massive bath person. I do have a really nice bath. What's going on here? That is such a random box. Why would you open it from all angles? Not quite sure. Um, but no, I don't have that many baths, but that smells so good that I might have to encourage myself to have a bath once in a blue moon. I want to do more face masks and more baths. Not that many baths, because it wastes a lot of water and I get very bored. But maybe one or two. <laughs> okay, then next up I got a new bottle. I drink a lot, a lot of water, and somehow I've managed to smash all of my like, unsmashable bottles. I use like reusable glass bottles with like nice stuff around the outside so they're not supposed to smash, but I've managed to smash them and ruin all my bottles. And I always walk around with a drinks bottle. So I asked for another one and I got this one, which is a Chili's water bottle. It actually says summer edition, it's definitely not summer, um, but I love this packaging as well. So inside we have, comes with its own little dust bag. <laughs> You've probably seen these like everywhere. Uh, you can keep hot or cold drinks in here, so that'd be very good for the winter. And it's 500 milliliters, I already checked, because I needed a lot of water. There we go. And it's got avocados all over it. Apparently you can't dishwasher wash it, but you know what? I'm prepared to hand wash this. So the next thing I'm gonna include actually was from a brand. This was from Galan, but they sent it to me as like a little Christmas present in a little box, which is really cute because I love Galan. They do makeup, skincare, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, perfumes. My favorite perfume is from Galan. But they sent me through this really nice cashmere, like shawl, scarfy situation. It's from Ochre 100% Cashmere, which is so nice. So I can imagine myself using this. I love using like cashmere shawls on holiday like this when you're cold, mm, eating your dinner outside in the evening. Also came with the Eau de Cashmere Fragrant. I'm actually spritz this on right now. And this is really nice. Really nice, actually. It doesn't smell too like feminine either which i don't like really really girly fragrances this is really nice actually so yeah that was a really nice gift this is the bottle beautiful as per always so that's going to go in my nice perfume stand over there my final gift which i'm really happy about is a kindle i really wanted a kindle i didn't think i'd get one because i had a main present so i got a kindle this is the latest kindle okay kindle paper white thinner lighter and now waterproof well can i put it in the water like properly in the water or just like a bit of water won't matter. It's a really small one. <laughs> and yeah, I'm reading a lot of books recently. I've read a book a week for the last few months. This is the size. I haven't yet set it up because I obviously only got it yesterday. Um, but I'm really looking forward to reading this, especially on the tube in London and on holidays. And it will save me a lot of money and a lot of paper. So yeah, because I kept buying books on Amazon. I was trying to buy secondhand books because I understand wasting a lot of paper and also paying a lot of money is not necessary. Also, if you're looking for book recommendations, I have a little highlight section on my Instagram called Books Inventive, where I show you which books I'm reading and a little review of them. So yeah. And now that I've finished all of this, I wanna show you my final main present, if he doesn't mind, if he's in the mood for a little show and tell. He's currently sleeping. And this is the only time I get a little rest. But do you know what? Maybe I can hold him and he'll sleep again. So let's go get him. This is what he's sleeping in. He's kind of opened his eyes, but he's still sleepy. This is him. Oh. He's so sleepy. Everyone says he looks a lot smaller in person than he does in pictures and videos. Oh, he's falling back asleep. He's very small. I probably will just insert some pictures because I don't feel like waking him up. Actually, I want to get him out. Should we just get him out? He's 
His name's Buster. I got him before Christmas, you would have seen on my channel. I did some vlogs about him. Um, but yeah, he is my main Christmas present, so here he is. Oh, he's liking the jumper. This jumper's from Zara, by the way. Kind of a bit smelly at the moment, actually. Oh, this is him. A, he's a fawn French bulldog. Oh, he's sleepy. Good boy. I didn't get that much this year because I got everything I could ever wish for. Um, I did get him on the 9th of December, so I got him a little bit early. Oh my god, he's asleep. Thank you, boy. And yeah. He is the best little thing I've ever got. This is the best present I've ever got and I realise dogs are for life, not for Christmas. So I'm ready for life with this little boy. So that brings us to the end of my what I got for Christmas video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me and for Buzzball. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.